most time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our lives, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Monday, August 12th, S&P up three, down three, sorry, NASDAQ up eight, Russell down 17, Dow down 173, gold and silver up both around about a one and a half percent move higher, notes and bonds about a quarter to a third of a percent higher, 10-year yield down about one percent, oil up almost four percent, natty gas up almost two uh soybeans down corn up wheat down euro in the pound a little bit green bitcoin down three and a half percent vix pretty flat from friday's close hovering at 20.36 i uh i had two on my price action trades i had a couple of stop outs before i hit 20 percent on those little flushes and then I was away from my computer, so I didn't make any trades until just about literally 10 minutes ago. I put this one on. I, I hesitated a little bit because it had already been consolidating for so long, but just hit 20% as we got on here after just being in at 10 minutes. Uh, I did take an AM iron condor at the open that got flushed out. Uh, I traded a 1DTE iron condor that I transformed. First, I transformed into an upside vertical. And then I transformed the rest into a downside vertical. So I've got both for tomorrow's expiration. So tomorrow I need to, I need an expiration above 5410 or below 5230, excuse me, 5280. Uh, put on a one, two DTE double calendar that is bouncing around 10% profit right now. Uh, I've got an order on my one, two DTE at 2130. It's currently looks like it's trading at about 2120 ish. Uh, otherwise I think that's about it. How about you, Chad? Yeah, so I have a one DTE on that. Let's see where it, it it was so close to booking twenty five percent multiple times today. So it's still in the positive, but has not hit twenty five percent yet. Um, then I had a AM number one that. Um, Got stopped out on that first flush. And um, let's see. I sold half my puts for 275 and then the rest of them for a buck 70. And then my AM number two booked 20%, got stopped out, and I sold puts for closed my puts for $1.70. So I'm kind of learning that in this environment, um, if you book 20%, it may not be a scratch trade if you have, you know, because you're you're initially getting in when some of the longs like the puts are so so high. So that was about a thousand dollar winner, only booking 20% because of closing those puts on that big on that second down move. Um, and you know, honestly, like the price action has been pretty good. It's just you know, these two big pushes, if they were just a smidge smaller. Um, yeah, I got smoked out just at the little bottoms. Yeah, I mean, if they were just a bit smaller, I mean, it would have been 
really big green day here. Um, so after the second one got stopped after 20, I kind of, I looked at the price action was like, okay, I, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and enter. I entered at uh, around 1215, actually I think it was 1217. And so if you look at that bar, I'm thinking, okay, if we, I'm seeing a pattern here. If we, if I get in here and it continues to rebound and push up, okay, then I can add a second. And then if it comes back down, that one I, I'm in, I enter now will, instead of being stopped, it will be hitting profit targets. Well, it ended up coming, you know, not going up as high and then coming down. And so that, that, that lunchtime number one, I'm talking about hit 20, 40, 60 and out. Um, and then I recently, oh, it was at um, about one one thirty eight central. Entered a uh, power hour number one, booked twenty percent on that already, and it is currently sitting dead center. So that's what I have done in my TLC account, and I have a Wuga on in my other account. And that is the 5350-5340s. So that's it for me. Nice, nice. And I got I, I have to jump off about mm, 20 minutes early because uh now stone, uh now that it's what is it, the 12th, it's a Monday, it's the official start of fall sports in all high schools here in Missouri. So now they're practiced rather at, instead of it being at um, 6 a.m., it's now at 3 p.m. every day. That's nice of them. Yeah, so just got to 15, 20 minutes before 3, I got to just run him over to Pius. Very... Uh, you know, this price action is pretty normal when it comes to the day before CPI. Get, get some so chop P -P -P PPI is tomorrow and then CPI is PPI, Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, PPI, CPI. So I, I have a I have a question. I've got I still have some NVIDIA calls. I'm like, do I hold them through the inflation data or not? There's not a lot of calls, it's like three. How far out are they dated? They are September 6th. Now, they do have earnings on, I think, the 30th or 28th. So my plan was to get rid of them before earnings anyway, unless I had like one or two, then I might have maybe left it on. Yeah. Um, if I had them, I would... I mean, NVIDIA is only at what? It's only at 109. Yeah, I mean, it just depends. I, I can't I can't decide if this market has just bounced for another leg down or if the or if the downside's over. I just I, I keep going back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's only like, oh man, I think I got them for like 1700. I think the risk is or maybe it was like 1400. So I mean it's not a huge risk. By the way, I just posted my one two DTE double calendar from earlier, hit ten percent, so I closed that out. Uh, JG, any particular reason other than the risk? I'm not sure that that question is pertaining to JG. And my six seven DTE from Friday is up twelve percent now. VIX coming down to Friday's low. Got about 90 cents before I hit 40%. Uh, 
Uh, VIX coming down, it doesn't necessarily hurt your calendars. A, a lot of times when overall volatility is contracting, it does hurt calendars. But remember, it's you're dealing with two expirations, so it depends on which one's contracting faster. We want the front week to contract faster, but if the back week is contracting quicker, then it could hurt. So it's, it's the relationship of the implied volatility of the options between your front and back, not just overall volatility going up or down. Mm. Calendars are positive Vega trades. So typically when volatility is expanding, it helps. But again, it just depends on what's going on between the front and back. Uh, let's see. Is that the one you, is that the option strat you posted chess master? So what do you got? 50. Let's see. So you got the 53 eighties. And the 5280s. So it should look something like this. Prices obviously moved since you put it on, but so yeah, I did a uh, I did a one two DTE so that I would have my longs on CPI day. I got. I got into that at 11 a.m. Central and then just closed it out for 10%. I didn't plan on holding it overnight anyway, and I hit 10%, so I just closed it. Chess master, did you do your homework on the Magic Mahomes? What did you find out? You should be able to easily do it on option strat. Did you go back and review the what if sections? The what if section of the Mahomes course should have been very clear if you did. No, oh, you're fired. My 40% profits at 3.30. Price is currently at about 4.30, about a dollar away. Dead centered, but looks like they pumped a, pumped a few pennies in. Yeah, it's about the same. Not much decay here in the last 10 minutes.
Did a 1DTE rut hedge. It's down a tiny bit. UVXY, my vertical is coming in. It's up about 600 some, 600 plus. My broken wing butterfly came down below the break even. I'm just, I'm giving it a chance. I'm going to, I may have to cut it though. We get a little pop and ball. That would definitely help that thing. If we get a little pop and ball, I may just close that out. If I can be able to book a profit, just be out of it. Volatility just contracted way faster than I anticipated when I put that thing on. Short premium in gold is doing well. Moving back to center. Euro just right of center. Hedgehog and ES is doing good. As far as individual stocks go on the red side, Lucid Motors down eight and a half percent, DJT down six and a half, UPST down five and a half, Riot Blockchain down five, Roku down almost three, Coinbase down two. On the green side, Jumia up almost 10 percent. That thing's having some big moves. Uh, chips are strong. SMCI up 6%. NVIDIA up over 4.5%. Robinhood up over 3.5%. AMD up almost 2 Let's see... I was looking at earnings this week over the weekend. Not much. Oh, I think Walmart. Yeah, earnings on 815. So Walmart. Baba 815. Baidu is next week. Chad mentioned NVIDIA, that's on the 28th. Target on the 21st. CrowdStrike on the 28th. Palo Alto Network, 819. Home Depot is tomorrow before the market closes. Excuse me, tomorrow before the market opens. I spent some time there this morning, about 6.30 this morning. <laughs> Buying a bunch of stuff for a wood fence. Zoom on 821. Getting a little pullback, a little vol pump, pumping some juice back into the spread. Yeah, Marcus, uh, in terms of the lunchtime, number one, I kind of explained that right when I just got on, when we just went live. Um, also, like when you look at price action, 
So price was in a 25 point range from, let me see here. For about two hours when I put that trade on. So I'm not looking at a consolidation of price just within 15, 20, 30 minutes. I'm looking at it over time as well. So it was in a, it was in about a 25 point range for about two hours. Right. And so, and then go back to what I said when I first got on here. Um, so, so to me, it's been in a consolidation of 25 points for two hours. And my iron condor I was getting was so like 50 points wide or something like that. And so to me, it's that if it's that wide and it's a 20 to 25 point range for two hours, that's, that's, that's one reason for adding. And then the second is because like I mentioned when we first got on live stream, if, if it would have rebounded and gone right back up to where all that consolidation was between uh, 11 AM and 11 50, um, it's potential I could have added to it. And then if it came back down, or added a new one, and then if it came back back down, then that lunchtime would hit profit target. So that's why. Right back to center, but still a buck away from 40%. Yeah, juice got pumped in. I do have a double vertical on from Friday from my one DTE that I put on Friday. We would have to get above 5385 for that one to hit. Or below. Come on, Toss. Get it together, Toss. Below 52.45 by the end of the day. So that one's most likely going to hit minimum profit. My one DTE calls are worth aren't worth anything. So it looks like I'm going to have to just ad address the shorts. Did you already close any of that out? No, I was um, right now. I was just a second ago with that little push up. I was 30 cents from getting out of 25%, but that's what that's all four legs. But I just checked and the longs aren't worth anything. So it won't get filled.
NASDAQ is hovering around unchanged. Hopefully things stay steady till near the end so we can play in my homes. Looking at the 40 butterfly right now. Looks like it's trading for maybe 60 cents. Little four point bounce would do it. Should suck the premium out and hit 40%. Yeah, my one GT could use a little bounce before I close it. VIX trying to hang on to that 20 level. Dipped into the 18 handle this morning. There we go, just that little bounce is getting close. There it is, 40%. Yeah, I'm real close, a nickel. There we go. Power hour hit 40%.
Bingo. Hey, chess master, come on back to the live chat channel, my friend. You're on the wrong channel. I just clicked over. In the Magic Mahomes course, towards the end, after I explain the strategy, I, there's a whole section on what ifs. It's not a specific what if link. It's, it's part of the Magic Mahomes course. And then uh, option omega, what does exit at minus 15 mean? Um, I assume you're talking about that would mean like 15 minute or 15 points above or below one of the strikes, but without a screenshot, I'm just kind of shooting in the dark here. Yeah. So that would be 15 point. If SPX were to move 15 points past the past one of the strikes, that would be an exit point. Uh, I don't usually refer to them as that, but yeah, that's a good, good description. I just call them the calendar strikes. So Chessmaster here is a link directly to the uh, Mahomes course. It's in it's part of the Transformers Transformers classes. That link will take you right to the Mahomes class. SPX hovering just slightly in the red, NDX hovering slightly in the green. So as I mentioned, PPI tomorrow pre-market. We also have FOMC member Bostic speaking at 12.15 p.m. Central. Seems like the uh, Fed speakers aren't really moving much these days. Uh, CPI pre-market Wednesday. Retail sales and unemployment claims pre-market Wednesday. Excuse me, CPI pre market Wednesday, core retail sales and unemployment pre market Thursday. FOMC member Musalam. I haven't heard that name. Alberto Musalam. I wonder if he's new. And then Friday, no real high impact events.
Doom hitting new lows. New all-time lows. 55.06. Boy, we used to day trade the heck out of that. At one point, it was $364. Jeez. Yeah, that and Peloton were the two that were beyond up me a lot. Too. Yeah. What's it now? I mean, I've completely forgot about that stock. Beyond Meats at six bucks. Sheeton is at three. Sheeton had a high of 120. Beyond Meat had a high of 125. I mean, fake meat, like you knew that was doomed. I said that from the get go. <laughs> Ulta is getting hammered. I don't know if it's all time lows, but it's. The lowest it's been in a long time. Lower than 2021. You got it, chess master. Well done, you pass. You get a passing grade. Yeah, the Mahomes is it's part of it's a we consider it a, a transformer spread, you know, because we're transforming it from one thing into another. So it's just, it's in the transformer classes, transformer category. Yeah, what I'll do is is you know, I'll have multiple orders working. So let's say it was time to start putting them on right now. You know, we're at 5342. So let's say I had a 40 on and a 45 and maybe a 50 and a 35, right? So I'm kind of surrounding it. What I'll do is if when I notice price getting close to a strike, you know, I'll, I'll keep my eye on that on my working orders. And I'll just, I'll kind of keep my finger on the trigger of the strikes that are closest to the one that's about to get filled so that it's easy just to cancel it right away. So if I have, you know, if I have five or six orders, I'm going to cancel the one right next to the one that gets filled first, because that has the highest chance of also getting filled. And then I'll take care of the others. Or as, as we get down to the point where something's getting ready to fill, I'll start canceling some of the ones that are far enough away that I'm pretty sure they won't get touched. So it's just, it's just a matter of practice. SPX staying in the red. Doesn't want to go green. Getting close to 60%. I'm going to lower my profit target here. 
try to squeeze that a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and close my one DTE. So chess master on a one three DTE. Um, yeah, I would normally be closing those out the next morning within the first 15 minutes the market opens. But as I did in my with my one two, I just did a one two. I did not do a one three because I wanted my longs on CPI day. And I I already closed that out for 10% because I don't I don't want to hold it overnight with PPI in the morning. But on a normal situation, on one twos and one threes, yeah, I'll, I'll close them out the next day in the first 15 minutes. Uh, I would, I would, I would let that go. I would, I would still shoot for 20 on that situation, Naughty Dog. For me, five sevens and six sevens, I start scaling out at 20%. So that's not my ultimate profit target anyway, but if your ultimate profit target is just to close the full thing at 20%, I personally I would I would just hold for it. <laughs> my six seven from Friday is at about 15% right now. SPX, right at unchanged. Yeah, I should be hitting 16 out on my power hour train. There it is. Yeah, I'm great timing 60%. too. I'm trying to squeeze that a little more. Thirty to some twenty-five wide, dead center. I don't regret trying to squeeze out a little more. I mean, it has been in this super tight range here for almost two hours now. All right, I'm out of out of everything except in my other account, the Wooga. TLC today after a full loss on AM number one, still got plus three thousand sixty. Nice. Three winners, three winners, one loser, and a plus 860 on my one DTE. So total 3920 today. Good day's work. Yeah. VIX continuing to creep. Twenty five minutes to go.
All right, I'm going to go ahead and close my last chunk at two bucks. As long as we don't drop from here, we chop for another five minutes or bounce. I should hit it, but man. This thing has been trying to go green for two hours. Just keeps getting kind of pushed back down. Forty butterfly trading for about seventy five or eighty cents. Well, now we're coming down, which is not what I was hoping for. Not what I was looking for. Yeah, I got to leave in about five minutes, so I'm going to have to close my Wooga. And it, that little move down has kind of hurt it. So I'm going to give it five more minutes, do a little bounce. Ugh. We're getting down to that level where SPX bounced three times today. Same with the NDX. VIX is increasing. Pumping some juice back in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this where I should have before. Maybe. There we go. Out at 275 on that last piece.
All right, so I'm out of my last price action. So all left for me is Mr. Mahomes. Nineteen minutes till the bell. The 35 butterfly looks like it's trading close to a buck. But if we get a flush here, those are gonna those premiums are going to evaporate. VIX hit a high earlier this morning of 2104, and we're right there, right at highs of day for VIX. SPX is not at lows of day. Who's in Wooga? Is that thing green still? I assume so, right? Yeah, I'm going to close mine out here because I got to run stone to practice. It's currently up 13%. That's an easy one to close on your phone. Yeah, you're right. It is, isn't it? Just put your order in, and then when you go into your mobile app, just go to orders, and then you can just cancel and replace it. That's right. All right. Well, I will see everybody in the morning for day trading Mighty 90 and runners. All righty. Take care. Everyone have a good one. Fifteen minutes till the bell. Got the money fly trading for almost a buck, maybe a buck.
She's feeling a little heavy going into the close. Push down below the, uh, or right at the lows of the range, not lows of day, but after that first flush, but right at the lows of the other three times it bounced. Uh, my 1DTE MRP, I transformed. I posted that in the Transformer channel. I transformed it into a, a double, double vertical. So here's my 1DTE. Had I not transformed it, looks like it would be up about, let's see, 1,500... Divided by 64.50. It'd be up about 23%, it looks like. Because you're dealing with two different expirations, calendars are not ideal to transform. You can, but... The volatility between the two expirations can still do kind of weird things to them, so I prefer not to. All right, let's see if we can sit still here for the next few minutes to get uh, to get filled on a fly. Two minutes till MOC. One minute till MOC. So I'm currently working the 30s, 35s, and 40s. One billion sell side. Pushing up towards 40.
35 is the closest strike. Looks like it's trading for maybe a buck 25. Staying cheap. Seven and a half minutes to go. I'm working the 30s all the way up to the 45s. I'm going to put in a 25. Thirty fives look like they're trading up to, to maybe a dollar seventy. Five minutes to go. Bouncing back up towards 40. I'm going to cancel my 25. We moved down that quick. No, we get too cheap anyway. See if we can sit on 40 for a minute. Need to get to 35 or 40. Hovering in between strikes, it's not going to do it.
35. This looks like it's getting close. Three minutes to go. We just moved towards one of those strikes. I think we'd get filled. Build on the 35s. Canceling the 40s. Canceling the 45s. Canceling the 30s. Now we need to move away from 35. Two minute drill, Mahomes. Let's go. Act like you've been here before. Up above 38, 39. One more little push up, should lock it. Thirty nine and a half. Back above 39, one minute to go. Getting close, ticket, there we go. Well, partial fill, partial fill, locked. With 40 seconds to spare. All right, now let's reverse lower. Eight seconds. Up to 45, so the 40s should have been fine as well. Mahomes strikes again, touchdown. Looks like it settled in at 53.44.41. Yeah, if you got the 40s, you're better off that your vertical did not get locked. Same with the same with thirty fives. Obviously, they would have been better off with just the fly. But all right, all chat will be streaming live in the morning at the open. We'll be back for power hour tomorrow. Everybody have a great night. Take care. Oh, Moel, first first Mahomes ever. Very nice. Good stuff. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Cheers.